How to add a grand total to a pivot chart in Excel. Pivot tables are one of the most useful tools in Excel for analyzing and summarizing data. A pivot chart is a chart that is built off a pivot table and varies slightly from the regular charts. It doesn't have as many features as the regular charts do. And also you cannot change the data source for a pivot chart once it has been created from a pivot table. So you may want to add a grand total to a pivot chart. Uh, when you're creating the a chart from the pivot table, you do not have the option to include the grand total. And in order to add more detail and more information to the chart, you may want to include the grand total. Of course, this can be included as one of the data elements, but that would throw the whole uh, chart off balance and make it look, uh, because the grand total uh, data point would be much larger than the other data points and the chart would not look clear. So uh, there is a workaround for this. Uh, so we will see how to do that. In this example, I have the pivot table and I have a pivot chart. Now I can see the grand total is 25. I want this total also displayed in the chart. So to do that, I first create a reference for the grand total because I cannot directly use the cell, which basically is I'm just copying that. I press equal sign, uh, select the grand total, press enter, and I have this. Now just displaying the number is not enough. I want to display some text as well, you know, to give it context. So I will enhance this formula by adding the text. Uh, the text I want is, I'll say I wanted to say grand total colon and a space. And then I will use the uh, concatenation operator, which is the ampersand and this formula, press enter. So now I can see I've got text and the number. And now I need to insert it in the chart. To do that, I create first have to create a text box in the chart. So I select the chart, say insert, under illustrations, go to shapes and click on the text box. So you can see that the cursor has changed to a line. I come to the chart area and I can draw the text box here. So with the text box selected, I type equals and the cell reference of the reference and say enter and there you have it we have the grand total in the chart so this of course i can move this since it's inserted as an object in the chart and you can also using the formatting options you can format the text to look uh, any way that you want it to so this is how to add a grand total to a pivot chart in excel please read the appended article for more information